I happened to be online the other day when I came across an older article talking about the worst places for black women to date and find a good black man. Now it's interesting when you're young as a black man and you're coming up as a teenager, everywhere is hard to date. When you get older, get a little bit of money, get a little bit more security, the tables turn. The reverse is true for black women. When they are younger, it is much easier. As they go to different cities, it becomes more difficult. And it's crazy because almost every lady that I talk to or I know believe that their city is actually the worst for dating. It depends on where you're at. This lady who was very, very beautiful was living and working in Washington, DC, but she decided to do this to find love. Relocating for love, is that desperate or is that a practical investment? Investment. Why do you think so? I I'm sorry to say it, but sometimes I feel like a lot of our title or status of being unmarried has to do with our location. Your chances are lower in a lot of these metropolitan cities. Although there's a lot more people, a lot of the times they're more career focused than they are family focused. Because you were in D.C. for a little while. Correct. Yeah. I heard you talking about how you felt like the uh, D.C. was just a swamp for dating. Correct. And you also <laughs> likened it to Atlanta when it comes to dating. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I knew in my spirit my husband was not there. I could tell not only through my own experiences, but through the experiences of the women that I know that live in Washington, D.C. Mm. A lot of them are unmarried. I feel like a lot of men, they love D.C. because they know that good pickings for them oh it is great pickings oh, and yeah. atlanta is the same oh way. atlanta is the same exact way mm -hmm. and i think it's so interesting that you said not only for your own experiences but look around look at your look friends mm -hmm. that just makes sense to me right because at some point it's not about you it's about your environment because your environment does impact a lot of your day-to-day -day life and why wouldn't it impact your dating life definitely oh, absolutely yeah that's interesting this woman who is very gorgeous moved out of dc and i'm assuming that she got married somewhere else but she did mention another city atlanta now atlanta has a lot of opportunities a lot of employment a lot of people a lot of transient people who you know move from different places like st louis or dallas or even california to the atlanta area and well while there's a lot of black people and a lot of professional people people believe that well, Atlanta's not that great. Let me jump right into this. Dating in Atlanta is garbage. If you come in here to date, go to another state. I would definitely say um, some hot states right now to go to is Texas, like Houston, Dallas, um, North Carolina, Charlotte. Those type places that I would say they'll be there, they would be more prone to probably make like more dating, you know what I'm saying? Those are like some of the hot states now that you know that people are going to, um, see hot states and cities, you know. Now, let's fly all the way to California, your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson's home state. I was born in Los Angeles County, raised partly in LA. The majority of my life I spent as an adult in Sacramento, California. Now, Sacramento, California was a city a, a lot different from like, let's say Oakland or even LA. I mean, the reason is because Sacramento was, you know, very diverse. LA is very diverse, uh, but Sacramento is very diverse. It's probably like a rainbow city. It was a lot of interracial dating when I was coming up in the nineties and it was even crazier back then. In Los Angeles, which does have its own black population, pretty big. You know, you have certain communities like Baldwin Hills and Lemur Park and, you know, Compton and used to be Compton and places like that, Inglewood. But now you have black women who are saying things like this. So I need to talk to y'all about something. I recently went to an event and there were about a thousand people there. And of the couples that were there, about 95% of them were black men with non-black women. The person leading the event was a black man that was married to a white woman. I'd be lying if I said that seeing all of this at the same time was not triggering. This is pretty much what the dating scene looks like overall in LA. Here are four other observations that I picked up on since moving to LA. One, it's not equal. It's not like I'm seeing a bunch of black women dating outside their race. In fact, I'm barely seeing black women dating at all. 
Two, it's gotten so bad that at this point, whenever I do see a black man that's single, the first thing that I'm asking myself is, I wonder if he dates black women. Three, within the past couple months, I've had conversations with multiple black women that actually want to leave LA. Not because of the economy, not because they aren't flourishing in their careers, but simply because they feel like there's no love for them in LA. The fact that I know so many beautiful, talented, compassionate, evolved black women that are all feeling the same way makes no sense to me. And lastly, when you don't see yourself reflected in a space, you feel like you don't exist. As a black woman myself, I can tell you honestly, when it comes to the romantic space, I have never felt more invisible than I do living in LA. Now, this is a very beautiful black woman, and she's complaining about not being able to find a black man. This lady is absolutely gorgeous, but it gets worse. You have other women who are just berating black men because, well, they can't find one. This is the one right here, and I'm going to tread lightly because I know people be in their feelings when it comes to race and all of that. Um, but when it comes to California, yes, there are black men. Um, but if you're a certain type of woman and you're looking for a specific type of black man, in my opinion, when we're talking about sophistication and all of that, they're not here in L.A. They're, ju they're just not here. And if they are here, they don't like black women. <laughs> so what I'm so her comment, her comment definitely is on point um, as far as, you know, there being no black men. Now, when you go to the East Coast. That's where you can find a black man of sophistication of that has a great job and is doing well for himself and is not wearing skinny jeans, you know. But L.A., whoo, honey, the, the black men out here, some of them, honestly, they really just don't like black women. They're looking for a specific type of aesthetic. And if you don't fit that, um, then you're you're out of luck, you know, in this dating on this dating scene. And I'm finding that. You know, if you're a black woman and you're really true to yourself and true to who you are and you're not conforming and doing, you know, everything that these other girls are doing out in the streets, they don't want you. They don't want the good girls anymore. They want the easy ones. They want the ones with the BBLs. They want the ones, you know, um, that I don't, I don't even know what they want, honestly. Maybe y'all can chime in in the comments. Um, but to be honest with you, LA really is not a great place to date. Um, in my opinion, I feel like if I live like on the East Coast or something, I probably would be better off because black men out there actually like black women. All right. So I can understand you have your brothers out there that have your skinny jeans and some of your brothers who are pookies and Ray Rays. But, you know, as a black man that is from California, I got to call cap on some of that because a lot of that is a lack of accountability. And that's what I'm hearing in most of these clips. Even the first lady who is very beautiful, very feminine. Um, I just really want to talk about some of those things. And firstly, California, unlike, you know, Atlanta is diverse and the culture of intermingling and, and interracial dating is very strong in California. The reality is, is that in California, black women do have, or do they, they do get the first opportunity from black men. But what they probably don't realize is that if they don't hop on those opportunities quick enough, there is a lot of non-black women in California, especially Hispanics, especially white women. I went to California State University, Sacramento. Uh, my brother went to UC Davis. My father went to UCLA. All of those as universities, if you go there as a black man, 100% of the time, you're going to be having a lot of non-black friends that will include non-black women. And what you're gonna be able to deduce from those interactions is what you know about black women from where you're from and what you're gonna find out about non-black women when you get there. And so that continues for a lot of professional black men for the rest of their adult and working life, especially as they move up the corporate ladder. Now, O'Shea, Duke Jackson, your boy, I just got lucky that I was in the content creation business and I was able to continue my life in, in black Africa. And I'm so grateful for that. But if I wasn't on this journey and I was still living in California or living in the States, who knows what corporation I would have worked or what business I would have been in. And that could have took me to a professional school in the States. It could have took me to, you know, some more interactions with non-black women. 
And then that's the situation that we got to deal with is how competitive are these women for the black men that they are trying to attract? I see all of these things about, you know, black men, just like non-black women in LA, but are you what these guys are asking for? That's the situation. Like, are you a good mate period? And competition is something that is very steep right now for black men. People are competing for black men. And a lot of black women look at it as if they are the prize. And you know, hey, a woman is a prize. We're not gonna denounce that or reduce that. But a man is also a prize. And women start to figure out before it's too late that having a man that is a provider that can take care of things, if you're not looking for that in these cities where, you know, rents are exorbitantly high and and and, and things are, are, are stressful, somebody's gonna beat you to the punch. When you have women from the Hispanic community, you have women from the Persian community, and LA as a metropolitan city, they're gonna snatch these guys up. So, you know, black men just have a lot of opportunities. And I never hear a lot of black men that are doing well saying, you know what, uh, LA is a terrible way, uh, place to date, or Atlanta is a terrible place to date. I mean, these guys just have so many opportunities, they have to, you know, just really just sit back and choose. So if you want a black man that has many options, you have to be a little bit more competitive, although you feel like you don't need to. That's it for now. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell, we're out.